What's up everyone, Andre Galvão here, Aratas Headquarters in San Diego, California. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Uh, today I taught some knee slide and side smash and also like some ways to approach the leg drag going overhead step. So take a look on the technique, pay attention to the details. But also don't forget to subscribe and give that like, okay? Welcome, us. All right, um, let's start the class warming up uh, right here with the technique that we work. Um, Yesterday, okay, I show you a couple of transitions from the reverse de la Riva to side smash, reverse de la Riva to knee cut, reverse de la Riva to knee cut, and overhead step. It's just like a review, but I will show you the different variations that you can do according to the reaction of your opponent. So, a lot of times I'll be in this position to fight, like reverse de la Riva, okay? I can be with my knees on the floor, sometimes they're here, and then I change for a knee cut, right? So I'm right in the knee cut position, but right now my opponent start making grips on me, and usually the grips he makes is like controlling my leg, controlling my collar, right? So if he's not holding my arm, I can easily control his collar right here, and then grab his pants, okay? But a lot of times when I'm trying to grab his collar, he's gonna block me here, and he's not allowing me to grab his collar, so I'm gonna control his, his uh, knee right here, outside, and I'll grab, the collar on this side, same side collar, not cross side, okay? Same side collar. So once I, once I do that, I'm gonna bring his knee towards his chest, and I'm gonna bring uh, his chest towards his knee, just like, like this. I use my forearm inside my inner thigh, so I can push, okay? I don't need to, I cannot do like this, okay? I use my leg here, right, inside, uh, right outside of my forearm, so I can push, okay? And I can keep like, really strong and heavy on top of my opponent. Of course, this foot right here, this leg will give me base, okay? So in case like he start shaking me, I can have base right here, okay? Uh, you see that my arm is outside of his leg. Also, my arm can be inside. But a lot of times it'll be outside, okay? And what are you gonna do now? We're gonna bring this leg here, covering his uh, calf, pinching my knees together, and my kneecap is gonna go right behind his hamstring right here. Okay, so I'm gonna face this way. So it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna make a transition to side smash. So I cannot go like this, because otherwise it's gonna underhook my leg, and then it's gonna start going for X guard and start sweeping, right? So the way I do without giving the leg, it's right here. Okay, so I gotta pinch my knees, and I'm gonna walk like a plank position, like this. I put my weight on the hand that's on the chest. And at the same time, I'm squeezing, using my knuckles against his leg so I can put my chest in front of his thigh, right on top of his thigh. From here I go, like this. Now when I get in this position, I'm gonna start, I can start putting my knee, my shin over his leg and I staple the bottom leg and I'll be on the side smash position. As I mentioned yesterday, you can do like this. A lot of people like, to get the staple like that, you control the bottom leg. Or you can be with your knee here, okay? Behind his leg too. This is my favorite. I like to control both legs, okay? Maybe because I'm heavier, I'm like over 200 pounds, I can be like this, okay? I feel like lightweights and people with long limbs, they like to be like this, okay? It's not wrong to be like that. As long as you trap the leg here. You could be like with this leg like between his legs, but I don't like this much because he can start knee bar me here or start like engaging the 50-50. He start like grabbing here, he start pulling my leg, okay? I don't like that. Okay, so make sure your leg is either like this, okay, stay with the leg, or like this. Okay, once you get here, you're gonna start applying the side smash, okay? As you, we did yesterday. My hip flexor must be like right close to his knee, not on top of his hip, because here he's gonna be opening the knee like this, okay? So I must put my hip flexor closer to his knee, okay? And at the same time, I will bring my form in touch with his back and my shoulder goes on his chest and my head goes on the floor right here. So I'm pulling uh, Dom's collar towards me and I bring his leg towards him. So I'm folding him right here, okay? My head's on the floor. Now, I'm gonna start passing. Step one, step two, I keep his butt between my legs, okay? If you get the baby hook, 
right here, right? I'm gonna start staple with my outside leg, pass my knee over my calf, and then pass the guard. Once I get on the side, don't forget to bring this elbow closer to his hip and pull the belt up, having your chest on his, uh, having your shoulder on his chest. So that he's trying to turn outside, I'm controlling. Okay? Again, that's the warm up, okay? I'm here, control, right? Pinch my knees, walk, side smash, fold him, staple the leg if you need, pass, and go to the side. And then you go again. Time you cut, pinch your knees, walk to the side, side smash. I want to do this transition fast, you see? Like I got here, like this. Notice that I do little steps. Until I get here. Okay. Open my leg, base, hip flexor, super heavy. Fold him, and then pass the guard. Okay? Yes. Where are you pinching your knee back on this leg? Where are you walking? Are you pinching your knee or your. No, I pinch, I pinch my. I pinch his, his calf right here. So what I'm gonna do, because he's gonna try to bring his knee to his chest too. So when I pinch like this, I can walk away, try to bring your knees to your chest, it's hard. So it's easier for me to put it into the side, okay? It's gonna be harder for me if his knee is against his chest. To do that, he's gonna be super strong. So I go away a little bit, and then so I go out and then side. So you pinch on the cat. And uh, most of the time people are not very strong on bringing the knee to the chest, right? Like this muscle here is like, it's not that strong to do this, right? So it's stronger to push. So that's why when you, when you pinch and then you walk back, put the weight on the arm that's on the collar, and then you side smash. Okay? Yes. Yeah, my, my left hand, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, sorry, I didn't mention right now, but when I got here, my hand's like this, okay? And I don't wanna have this hole right here between my forearm and his, and his uh, body, right? So I always put my forearm against his body and now I put my shoulder against him, like this. So I'm pulling, okay, I'm pulling and then have contact with my shoulder on his chest, okay? Any other question? All right, let's work. One, two, three, go. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to go to our website, atasbjonline.com, so you can learn more about the technique. Peace.